Hey guys, what's up? And it's time to clear up the doubts once and for all. As we discussed in the last video, Samsung just keeps showing this Galaxy S9 design everywhere. My inbox is filled with so many messages, people sending me screenshots of the software saying that, hey, I found the Galaxy S9. In almost every app setting, you see a phone with minimal bottom infinity bezel-less design. One of the most notable reveal of the design is from their update to the Game Launcher app. And this is the most clearest design design of the Galaxy S9 is revealed and this my friends is indeed the Galaxy S9 and here's why. OnLeaks recently tweeted out this which shows the real front screen panel of the Galaxy S9 Plus up against the S8 Plus. So these front panels are leaked everywhere. A lot of them are fake, but this right here really shows the difference. And look at that bottom bezel. It is noticeably thinner compared to the S8 Plus. Not as thin as some of the early concept renders we have seen, but still it is thinner, which means that the Infinity Design 2.0 is indeed here. And if we compare this to all the softer sightings of the Galaxy S9, it matches all of them. The bottom bezel is noticeably thinner than last year, and it definitely follows the panel we have from the on leaks. So for all of you guys that messaged me, yes, it is your new Galaxy S9. And keep in mind that this panel is not the fully functioning Galaxy S9 as the Ice Universe has tweeted out multiple times that actual final Galaxy S9 will look much better than the leaks and the renders. The final thing always looks better. That's the law of the leaks. They give you 95% information, but that 5% is what really matters. So the leaks can never be fully 100%. The actual thing always end up looking better. So the bottom bezel is thinner. There are some renders that spoiled us in the beginning saying that it is extremely thin. It's not. It is a little bit thicker, but still thinner than Galaxy S8 and matching these softer sightings. So with that being said, the case of the design is closed. Another thing that confirmed this is the another Galaxy phone they leaked, which is going to be the first Galaxy phone to have infinity design and a front home button. This was shown on a Galaxy J7 2016 phone and it shows the render of a 2018 J series phone that we will see this year. We don't know the name yet, it could be called as the Galaxy J8, but the design is revealed and I don't know why Samsung themselves hide these Easter eggs for us to discover. I mean, clearly, this happened on a Galaxy J phone specifically to show people what the next Galaxy J phone will look like and it feels intentional. You won't see it on Galaxy S8, instead they show you this. It's like they clearly want people to go crazy and know about their upcoming phones. It kind of reminds me of the Apple's HomePod Fummer leak that confirmed the iPhone 10 design. So I don't know, Samsung, they got inspired and they are just leaking all this themselves. But the thing that matters is that it's all real. Moving on, the supposed Galaxy S9 tagline is revealed in a new camera trademark in Korea before Christmas. So it reads the camera reimagined. This does sound like a very promotional thing, but the camera is indeed reimagined and it passed so much power as revealed earlier in this week that thanks to Exynos 9810 there's a brand new dual ISP ultra HD 4k support up to 120 frames per second lightning fast autofocus brighter performance in low light and it can support up to four cameras two on front and two on the back which is crazy but all of this processor capabilities doesn't really show us what's actually reimagined but thanks to the Twitter leakster from China this guy has reported some accurate leaks in the past he says that the galaxy s9 will have f 1.5 aperture while the s9 plus will rock f 1.4 aperture that means some insane low light improvements i mean there is no phone out there at this level and f 1.4 is very overpowered f 1.5 has already been seen in samsung's flip phone the w 2018 so it's kind of obvious that s9 will have the f1.5 aperture as well but seems like the s9 plus is going to be even further coming at f1.4 this is why the trademark says that the cameras are reimagined and in the same post another much needed feature is mentioned which is the dual speakers we have never seen dual steer speaker system from samsung before so this is about time. Both Apple and Google, they've done it for two years straight. They made this dual speaker system a must feature 
on their phone while Samsung they had an average speaker with the Galaxy S8 and a slightly above average single speaker on the Galaxy Note 8 so it's been said that the S9 will be the first Samsung phone to rock stereo speaker system tuned by AKG and we can already see that the speaker is changed it is bigger and wider than the one found on the Note 8 and the Galaxy S8 so you can expect some crazy sound experience along with some softer tricks as well. Yes, I'm talking about the Dolby Atmos Sport. A recent Oreo update to the Galaxy S8 has added a new feature support for Dolby Atmos, which will automatically tune the music you're listening to, making it a richer and more immersive experience. And all this points to a dual speaker system. The other sound will come from the earpiece. So for those who wanted to see this, it seems like it's really gonna happen with the Galaxy S9. He also says still 64 gigabytes, so the base model will have this storage along with SD card support. Thank you Samsung for that but a recent source on Chinese social site Weibo has revealed some further inside information about the storage. So it's claiming that the Galaxy S9 will ship with 4GB of RAM with storage capacity options of 64 and 128GB while the S9 Plus will ship with 6GB of RAM but with 4 capacities so 64, 128, 256 gigabyte and a massive 512 gigabyte and that's the largest size on any smartphone ever it'll only be available in selective markets and in limited quantities so uh, it's going to be a very special 512 gigabyte galaxy s9 plus for pure Samsung fanboys in their homeland but for most of the people the base option is enough. Now we know that the facial scanner on the Galaxy S9 will get improved as well. We do have a better position fingerprint scanner but Samsung they want to give us as many options as they possibly can. So the facial scanner is reportedly going 3D. We heard that Samsung recently ordered a lot of 3D parts to build the scanner. The Twitter leakster iTunes also told us the information that Samsung is indeed working on a 3D facial scanner system for the Galaxy S9. The newly announced processor Exynos 9810, the heart that runs the beast, is fully capable of doing 3D scanning. Along with that, we have advanced face detection for apps like Snapchat. All that will improve. A recent tweet from one of my followers caught my attention. The upcoming Notebook 9 Pen 2018 model, which they will announce soon at CES 2018, it's going to have a 3D facial scanner. And if that happens, then it surely confirms that Galaxy S9 will also going to rock a 3D facial scanner. Also, we have a lot of new case leaks for the Galaxy S9. So just Galaxy S9, as you can see, the single camera sensor and the fingerprint scanner on the back, it's coming from Nilkin. So these are some nice looking case case that further confirms the back design of the Galaxy S9. Now a good news for the Galaxy S8, the current Galaxy S8 users is that they can receive the live focus update as far as this answer is concerned from uh, one of Samsung representatives. So uh, my follower, he sent me this, he asked Samsung that can the Galaxy S8 get live focus mode through software update and it says live focus mode will be deployed on the Galaxy S8 through a new software technology An update is planned soon but we do not have sufficient information on the launch date so I don't actually think that they're going to bring the live focus to the Galaxy S8 I mean this is something that makes the Galaxy Note 8 incredibly special compared to the S8 family but guy from Samsung team seems to be saying something else uh, let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments and lastly we have yet to see the actual benchmark gains of the Exynos 9810 processor the Twitter leakster Ice Universe says that if Exynos 9810 has Dynam IQ then it can go 2.9 gigahertz which is its full power it allows single core 2.9 gigahertz standalone operation so seems like with Dynam IQ the Exynos chipset can really reach its max potential and if that happens you can expect it to come really close to the Apple A11 which is by far the best chipset we have on phone. It is already expected that Exynos 9810 will score over 9000 in Geekbench so there's a big chance that it can reach Apple's level. So yeah guys this is all we have on the Samsung Galaxy S9. 
those softer Easter eggs are true indeed. I can't wait to see more real life leaks, some light leaks with the Galaxy S9 to further confirm all this. Uh, but yeah, make sure to subscribe for that and let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think about the S9 and S9 Plus? Which one you will be going for? I mean, the Galaxy S9 Plus clearly is the better option. You're getting the better display, better battery, better cameras, and now not just the extra camera sensor, but also F1.4 camera sensor. So still S9 Plus will be really expensive while the S9 will be a little bit more affordable option. I'm more interested in hearing your thoughts which is the ultimate option for you guys. And follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm most active. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.